What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to play Persona 4 Golden in Ultra White. Because I knew that I struggled with this and I want to play the game in Ultra White and it looks beautiful. I will also be showing you how to uncap the frame rate so you get rid of any egregious motion blur, but that's sort of a secondary thing in this video. Primarily it will be how to play the game in Ultra White. Now I would say Persona is one of those games where you just need to be immersed, okay? So, playing the game in ultra-wide obviously helps a lot. The disadvantage of this ultra-wide fix, because the game was never meant to run on ultra-wide, is that the UI is slightly stretched, let's say. But, the game does render perfectly fine, I'll show you that in a minute once I load up. But for this, for the ultra-wide part, all you need is to find the... Uh, is a useful hex editor like I have installed here which you can find on this link I'll include all the links in this guide in the description and then you just need a hex the correct hex numbers to use and for that after searching for a while I found that these numbers work specifically the numbers here to change your patch from 99 20 by 1080 to 3440 by 1440p. Uh, if you are playing on 1080p screen, maybe you might be out of luck, but you can still try this. And honestly, the, it's not the game. It's not like the game upscales that well, well anyway. So I would say uh, just go for it. So once you get done installing your hex editor, it will obviously if you install into your desktop, so it will be, appear here. You want to go to File, Open, and then you want to basically navigate to where your Persona4.exe file is, so where the game is installed. I keep all my stuff installed on my SSD, on my S drive. So for me, you go to Steam Apps, Common, Persona4 Golden, and then you find it here. Don't worry about creating a backup because the useful thing that Hex Editor does is it creates the backup for you. So you want to open that and then you agree by all these scary numbers. If you haven't done hex editing before like I hadn't before, I only recently got an ultra wide monitor, uh, then you might be a little bit daunted, you might not want to mess with the files, but it you'll be fine. It's, it's easy. And again, hex editor will make a backup file anyway, as you might have seen back there, if I just could navigate to there. <coughs> and show you, apologies, maybe I've got Corona, I'm not sure, hopefully not. Navigate to see it's already created, it'll place it as a back file, but if you ever need to, you can just simply delete this one, change, literally change the name, just eliminate the dot back part, and then it'll work like normal, like, it doesn't need to worry. Okay, so now that you're in the hex editor, you want to go to search, replace, click on hex values, and then use the hex values that I have placed on the screen here. I will include a link to it, but I suggest I've tried, well, basically all of these hex values. What I found is the ones that work are these ones here. So you want to replace the first one like her, as it says find and we want to replace it with the number one here as well make sure you do this and you don't replace number one with number two number two with number one otherwise it's not going to work correctly and then you just it'll just be more time placing click on all and click on replace all I've already done this so I won't repeat this again and then you just simply do the same for the second lot easy quite simple I mean it's pretty straightforward and if unless you just started using a computer then I don't see what the issue would be with this and then again place all well also while doing this you will want to modify the aspect ratio because what I found is when you just simply do use the text uh, hex values the game will be an ultra wide but it won't look ultra wide per se the game will render but it will still render a 16.9 16 by 9 aspect ratio and it will look a little bit more wide i would say 
So then you also want to do these values here. Do not forget them, I suggest. So again, it'd be the same thing here. I'm just doing this just to demonstrate, but otherwise I've already done mine. Click on all, replace, Bob's your uncle. And then you can exit out. Now, when you start a game in ultra wide, well, when you start the game in general, which I'll start for you now. It will render an ultra wide, as you can see. I mean, you can already tell the fact that the TV screen appeared in the bottom right corner. But, there you go. And the game run fine. It, it, there's no hiccups, no... Uh, nothing terribly wrong with the game. Again, the UI will be stretched because this game definitely wasn't meant to run uh, ultra wide. But the gameplay itself is fine. I mean, I'll load in the game and show you. And well, yeah, look. Look at this. Works perfectly fine. Character models, as in drawings, will be stretched. Text will be stretched. But. I think it does good. So I'm going to Kanji Dungeon because that's what I'm stuck at the moment. I am super underleveled. I, I am super underleveled. Well, I thought I was level 15. I was level 14, 15 when I came in there, so I had to like grind a little bit. But phew, it was bad. So if I just go into the Kanji Battle, I'm not going to do it, but if I just go into the Kanji Battle and show you. Yeah, spoiler alerts for anyone. Actually, you know what? I won't do it just in case if you do want to play the story. But yeah, the game renders fine. I mean, it works. You will see some odd glitches, like some characters will. Because the game will render, but obviously, the devs didn't account for it. So, you will see some characters walking in place off screen. You know they're not meant to be there, and they're meant to be walking out, but they will do that. However, well, yeah, it's fine. When I first loaded the game in Ultra Wide, I noticed this horrible motion blur, which you can't see now, but it was bad. So what I wanted to show you in this little next section, this next section of the video, <coughs> is how to uncap the frame rate. Now the frame rate does work, it does, obviously the frame rate is uncapped anyway if you turn VSync off. And it will be at what, wherever you render out like 120 FPS, you know, it's, it's an old game, so it will run, run fine. But there is actually what I found a hard cap on the FPS. And the F if you want to get rid of the motion blur, the best way to get rid of the motion blur is to raise the FPS because it's directly tied to each other. So what I, f what I found is this nifty little guide on how to implement a DX, DXVK Vulcan. And it should work fine with all GPU vendors. I've tried it on my uh, AMD system since I have a uh, RX 5600 XT, which I'm thinking about upgrading with those new NVIDIA cards. But oof, let's see. But again, just a quick look. This part is a quick little guide. It's quite easy. Just simply download. Make sure your GPU is up to date. Download the files as you need. This file will be a tar file, so you have 7-zip or if you have a uh, WinRAR, you, you have to unzip it twice. But that will work just fine. I'll, uh, I'll download it N now. If I actually I might already have my downloads. So see, look. Actually, no, I don't. So if I download that from here. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You just want you want to click on you want to click on the f on the dot zip. <coughs> oh god! Oh no! And then you want to extract this twice. I use seven zip. It is better in my opinion. It's just it's just better. It's just, I don't know why you use anything else. So you want to extract that. Then go into the file and extract again, obviously. And 
and you want to choose the photo two times as the guide says. Now in the photo two in the photo two X folder you want to find two different files, the D three D D eleven, which is this one here, and you also want to find the DXGI D DXGI dot DLL. Now what you what you also want to download is this little comp file here. So you just click on the link here. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not gonna download it again. As you can see here. And what this does is it will disable your uh, personal for golden frame limiter, and it will also force 16 uh, times and rig filtering. You know all that, all that good stuff, all that good stuff that you want. Now, finally, when you launch the game, you want to turn the VSync on, and then you're done. You don't need to worry about what mode you play in; it will work fine. You will see your frame rate spike a lot. So I was seeing frame rates of about. 500 FPS, 600 FPS, and you. So what I suggest, and what the gu guide also suggests, is, is you limit your frame rate since you don't want your computer to be overhitting the mark. You you want to just uh, you want to let your computer run fine without overrunning it. So with AMD, it's quite easy. If you go into gaming, find your Persona for Golden. Then you go to Radian Chill, Limit FPS to Save Power, and you want to set your frame rates here. If you set your minimum max to the same thing. I've set mine to 144Hz of FPS since my monitor is 144Hz, and that way I get the best performance. <coughs> but once you do that, if you set your FPS to say about, I would say 120 you eliminate any normal motion blur, which is why the game, while it's running, looks s well. I'll demonstrate if you know myself. There's no motion blur at all. It runs perfectly fine. And this works with, uh, as the guide says, it works with the Persona 4 Golden mod loader and reloaded, which I haven't really delved into yet. I kind of want to. But I'll see. I'll see about it. So again, if I load the game, run around, look, see, you can see there's no motion blur, and everything looks fine. To be honest, I think it looks fine. Obviously, yeah, UI is like quite stretched. Let's see, you can you can already see that, but the gameplay itself isn't stretched, which is great. I think it's perfect. But yeah, that's it. Quick guide just to show you how to. Play the, not just play the game not wide but also uncap your frame rate which is something that you want it's it I think it's something that you want anyways uh, and that's it if you liked what you see if you want to see some persona 4 gameplay on my YouTube channel please subscribe like share the video you know all, all that stuff that youtubers say for me this is like a side gig well not even a side gig this is something to do in my spare time but I thought hmm, why not it's lockdown I got a PC now I can game might as well uh yeah if you want if you like want to see actual gameplay i do try and stream on twitch whenever i'm not tired uh my i'll plug my twitch down i'll plug my twitch down below as well so 97 and yeah that's really it thanks for watching cheers guys i'll see you in the next one